So you want to hit stuff from far away in your new Dominix, and you want some help with how to do it. Well, this is the build for you. Let's dive in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Name is Loru, digital advertiser, content creator for the better part of 10 years. And I've been playing EVE, well, since about 2007, 2008. And this is our Sniper Dominix fit. Our EVE series on YouTube has been doing quite well. Uh, Y'all have been enjoying it, it seems. We have our Get Rich Quick on EVE, how to make a billion isk in about a month with not very much time played. We do have another Dominix fit in a separate video about a Gecko hybrid guns. Go check that out. But let's not waste another minute. Let's talk about how you can fly this Sniper Dominix fit. Let's get into the fit. And then as always, we're going to do a bit of a how I do it section at the end. We're going to dive into a level four and you're going to see how we clear those with ease with this fit. Okay, starting with the highs. We got four Drone Link Augmenter 2s. It's worth noting that you can use the more expensive versions of these and you can only use three. I believe there's a story version, but there's something like 200 million. It's something crazy. It's like, uh, what is it called? The Black Eagle ones are 206. In my testing, you can use only three of those Black Eagle Drone Link Augmenters and it'll accomplish the same thing. But I'm not trying to spend 600 million on a couple things for a fit that I'm doing for a YouTube video. You know what I'm saying? So let's dive in with four of these. We're going to get into the math after I, after I show you the fit because the math really is where this build shines bright. Tech 2 rail guns with some tungsten. Tungsten is the ammo that's going to be able to shoot at the right spots that we wanted to. As far as the mids, your micro jump drive, this is, as you know, going to let you blip far away. It's going to let you really keep your sniping alive. You don't have to worry about constantly taxiing. And because you have sentry drones, you're not going to be able to move because sentry drones are stationary. You want to be stationary too, so you can scoop them up whenever you want. We've got an afterburner. We've talked about this in the, in the past. I, I like afterburners because you can tap them to align faster. You're going to notice that the align times on a bunch of these bigger boats is going to be ridiculous. We've got something like 11 seconds. Uh, it's just a lot. So <laughs> we tap that, keep it going. Okay, we've got two omnidirectional tracking links with an optimal range script. Again, we're going to get into the math, but this is going to let your drones be able to shoot more accurately with better damage further away. Then we're going to have your sentience sensor booster. Say that five times fast. Sentience sensor booster. Sentient sensor. So this is the one that's going to let your boat target further out. So these two appear, let your drones target uh, far out, and the sentient sensor booster lets your ship target far out. So each one does its own unique thing. And then finally, a cap, a large cap battery, just to get some more cap, makes it so we can keep pulsing our heels and not have to have to worry about stuff. Finally, for the lows, you've got your armor rep, two multi-spectrum membranes. This is an omni fit. I don't like messing with, hey, I'm going to put this on, I'm going to take that on. If you want to min-max more, you can feel free to do that. We got two of these, we got the damage control, and three drone damage amplifiers. You're seeing a lot of expensive gear on this fit, a lot of navy stuff a lot of faction stuff if you want to use the tech twos you can if you want to start spending the extra cash this is where i would start with this fit especially if you're a drone boat drone person start with your damage start with the drone damage amp amplifiers you do double dps without these than compared to with these double okay so it is incredible finally the rigs two auxiliary nano pump twos and an, an explosive armor reinforcement this is my personal take on rigs i don't have multiple dominics right now i just have the one so as long as i can do an armor fit as long as i can do an armor rep focused fit i can change out the offense as needed and keep on going because as you know if you remove rigs they are destroyed and these are kind of expensive so if you have multiple ships maybe have a drone boat gun boat etc this is just my armor tanking boat and i can swap again out the offense as needed let's look at the math because the math is really again where this shines all right so we've got four four augmenters so i'm gonna mouse over our sentry drones here so you can just see this good stuff our optimal range of our sentry drones is 168 and the main damage range is about 98 we can shoot them out to 168 so that's really the number that we're kind of like okay that's your maximum right the ship with the sensor booster on can target out to 139 all right, so that's our maximum. So this range within is a bit too far. Optimal range is good though. These two are gonna make it so that your optimal range is about 100. We want closer to that 139 uh, route without being so close that the moment they get in to 110, they're gonna stop hitting for as much damage. What I mean is, if you are having optimal range at 110 and something's at 60, you're not going to do as much damage. If your optimal range is like 98 and, it, and it's 60, you're going to do a little bit more damage at 60. So this is a good enough balance that I found to be able to do the damage that I need and get it done. The four augmenters are going to make it so you can target your drones out to 153. Again, you can use three of the more expensive ones and it'll do just as much. I would just put on another gun, but we use four just because I'm not trying to spend that, that much money. So basically what it means is when I lock onto something, I can target it, 
start shooting it with my drones and my guns because as you saw the tungsten ammo goes out to 130 so i can do full damage begin the moment they come within range of 139 typically i'm just going to micro jump drive out and just immediately start poking things at range so the math all checks out so that's the drone math let me show you the actual drone squads we have uh, so that way you can see the different kinds of ways you can use this boat with your drone we did talk about the five wardens this is going to be your sentry drones these are the all this is what all the build is about is being able to snipe stuff at range if we're talking about frigates that are close to you we got the five hornets uh this is again just all the fast moving ships the wardens can't really get to them especially if they're super close to you so you gotta throw out the frigates to be able to get them we still have our gecko goon squad in here that's two geckos two vespas and, and a hornet if there's like one battleship left or a couple cruisers left i'll just warp back in and clean them up with the geckos they do considerably more damage than the wardens do than the actual sniper fit uh three ec drones just as an anti-gank measure i've only gotten approached on a gank ship one time in high sec the, there's a suicide gankers that likes to roam around to jitta and this is just to stop that from happening just in case salvage drones kind of suck but i take and you know they're much better off getting a salvage ship we have a video on an octus go check out our eve on live playlist you can get all the good salvaging fits so we have salvage drones in there just because we got a big old drone bay. Might as well use it if I'm taxiing from A to B and I see some wrecks in between throughout the salvage drones and keep it going. Uh, feel free to use Tech 1 drones. These are just like the faction ones that are better, excellent, fantastic. All right. The last thing I have to show before we dive into the actual gameplay version of this and the how-to is what's in my cargo hold when I'm going out. So we've got the Pack Rat MTU. Uh, we're going to show you how we use this. It's very easy. You just drop it off the moment you enter a room. It's going to suck up all of your, uh, <laughs> as you see the name, it's going to suck up all of the wrecks into a single spot so you can get your Noctis and keep on going. There's four types of ammo that, that we got here. It's important to understand which each ammo is based on range. Uh, the tungsten is very far out. This is your max range. The uranium is just shy of that. It's a, it's like your next tier down antimatter is closer. It's about 60 ish. And then javelin is like right on top of you It's like 20 to 30 km uh, kilometers it's important to note that the damage you have on the ammo gets better higher the closer the thing is to you the ship the device whatever it is that you're shooting at so the tungsten is going to do less damage than the javelin but the tungsten can target much further out okay so that's that all right so that's the fit let's go into space and go check it out i got a level four queued up i'm gonna see you there all righty here we go we just warped into the next room in our level four we're gonna drop off our mtu and we're gonna take a gander at where these battleships are and such okay we got a couple that are on top of us we're gonna go this way and we're actually gonna try to mess with these battleships first i think we can take these out with our geckos before we move so we are gonna switch to our javelin because they are kind of close here and let's switch to our geckos and keep on going this is one of the best parts of this fit is that if you want to hit stuff up close you you can you can just go for it and have a great time with it so you know you're gonna see that i've just i've switched my ammo to my javelin that way it's super close and they're doing the most dps possible uh, we're going after these battleships uh, right now because i know that i can kill these battleships up close and instead of wasting time porting out and trying to poke them at range with my um snipers i'm gonna throw out those geckos and throw my goon squad out there and get some damage in and get it done you'll notice our tank is going down decently fast enough it's just something that you know we are going to deal with some higher damaging stuff in level fours and that's okay optimal range maximum range of the javelin is 47 so these are all these battleships right here well within our range so we're going to keep the geckos thrown out there and just keep on doing the damage and one battleship is already done we are gonna have one of these on here i find that sometimes my ship will miss like once in a blue moon if i don't have this stuff on there so ooh, that's annoying so you just saw that one of the frigates just took out our ability to target multiple things so we are going to have to swap targets to this we just saw that also some more reds are kind of come on to the battlefield through Oof, we got some stuff coming in it's okay it's level four ladies and gentlemen our, our tank is about to go so we're getting ready to click the button for our armor rep and then we're going to have a good time with that so you know let's try to focus down these battleships first and then we'll definitely go after those frigates right after goodness gracious that was super annoying so i i just keep one of these on while we're close to these battleships if nothing else just to guarantee that there's not going to have any misses we don't have any loss of dps geckos are a little bit slow you can also remove the optimal range script from these uh tracking links and then just keep them as normal if you don't know how the how the scripting works uh, i did just target on my tank because we saw it was getting a, li a little bit low if you're not sure how this works i can unload this to cargo and now it gives me all the bonuses as opposed to just the uh, optimal range 
version of this because how those trackers work here let me make sure there's a bunch of stuff happening right now and i am trying to focus the the, the tank's going and then we're we're doing okay stuff so far so without the script in there it's going to give all the bonuses and this tracking link gives tracking speed and optimal range to your drones if you have the optimal range script in there it just gives the optimal range bonus but it gives more there's also a tracking speed bonus script so see what i'm saying you can pick and choose which one you would like so since we're up close i'm gonna make sure that i'm just gonna remove one to my cargo bay call it a day and just let them never miss ever again we see a lot of stuff targeting us here i am going to recall all of my drones we're gonna keep these on there and we're actually gonna switch to tungsten really really quick because we are now officially in a spot where everything is going to be hitting us now i'm looking at this there's a bunch of missile ships so we're actually kind of in trouble here because the missiles normally can hit you at very far out, extremely far out. So we are we are actually in a spot where I, I'm not going to be able to use my jump drive here because the jump drive is going to get me too far out of range. They can keep on hitting me. So this particular level four is actually kind of annoying because I can't show off the jump drive yet. But as you can see, our, our cap is going down. It's not like, it's not going down super fast, but it is going down. I'm going to turn on our little our little scan resolution thing here so we can target this stuff faster. We threw out the frigates, we threw out our light drones, excuse me, to go deal with these frigates. We are gonna start coming to a stop here because we're gonna start getting our sentry drones out here in just a moment. We're gonna start poking them with our guns. Let's start with, with the cruisers. You can see that the guns don't do a lot of damage. We only have two and the tungsten again is not a lot of ammo. The real damage here is going to be from our sentry drones. Once we get rid of these little frigates, we can call our light drones back and then we can get our good snipey boys out here. Now that we're about to do this, we've got our snipe drones out. Snipe drones are coming out right now, excellent. Now we have turned off this one because we're gonna slap on the, op the omnidirectional, we're gonna slap on the tracking script again. Gosh, there's so many things to think about while it's happening. Please have mercy on me, goodness gracious. So yeah, we're gonna overload this rack. It's something that I recommend y'all do if you start feeling like, you know what, this is, I might get in trouble here. Uh, this is going to be one of those things. So you can see we're taking a crap ton of damage from the missiles and such. So it's it's just one of those missions where you might want to actually go and fit a slightly better kind of tank. Hello? Just some red stuff happening on the screen. Should I be worried? Okay, I'm not sure. So our, our tank is going down and I'm, I'm watching it ever closely because I'm a little bit worried about it right now, to be honest. Uh, we are poking these ships quite quickly though. You're seeing these are cruisers and, and uh, cruisers and, and battle cruisers. They're taking some damage and then dying pretty quickly. So after we get rid of this one, I think I'm gonna start swapping some ammo. We're gonna swap ammo to our uranium because one of these guys is, it's kind of hard to see because it's so bright. There it is, great. No, these are all within 90. 90 is still a good enough range for our tungsten. Tungsten's optimum is like 100, so that's good enough. I'm going to pick the closest one, Hugh. I'm just going after this battle cruiser here. So I'm watching my cap. It's getting a little bit low, and I'm a little bit concerned about it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Also, one of my snipe drones is taking some damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to recall this, and this is kind of why you do this, why you have a sixth sentry drone in your inventory, okay? We are going to recall this sentry drone, return to drone base, and then you're going to call out this extra one here. I just have, I have a spare folder, and that way, yeah, I see it, our, our cap is going, okay. Uh, we're getting up there, but I think we can be okay with this. It looks like the bulk of our damage is coming from the battleships, actually, although a decent amount of them is coming from the battle cruisers and such. So I'm going to turn off one of these just to try to save a little bit of cap. And then let's go to uranium. Uranium is the next one. And then we might be aligning out and then getting our cap back and then coming back. There's no shame in that. There's no shame in doing it. This is a hard mission. This is a difficult one, actually. And uh, we are going to do what we can to save our ship, you know what I'm saying? So, but as you can see, once the snipe drones are there and the uranium, once it lines up and some of these cruisers pop, they just start dropping. So we might be able to be stable here if I can get this out. And you can see the difference that the uranium makes, right? Once you get a little bit closer, the uranium is gonna do it. I'm watching the cap chat, I'm watching it. We're getting there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill off one more of these and then we are going to scoop our drones to the bay and then and then get the hell out of here and get our cap back because those last four battleships, I think they have a date with some geckos. That's what we're going to be doing there. So we might take a little bit of hull damage here. That's okay. Uh, it is what it is. I'm just going to pulse the healer one more time just to be sure we're good to go and take out this battle cruiser, cruiser, whatever it may be, good enough. And we're going to scoop these to our drone bay. Let's align. We're actually in our home system here. So let's just warp to this. Make sure we got all of our drones back. Very nice. We'll put back on our antimatter charges for when we come back and we'll call it a day. Let's pulse our, 
our boy one more time here just to be sure we're not going to hit hull if we don't have to we'll be right back once all of this craziness is complete all right we're back with some goodies and we're here to take our revenge on these battleships we went back to our home base to repair our low slots and to get our cap back just really really quick this actually is one of our home base locations i do a decent amount of missioning here for now anyway who can say maybe we'll go to null sec soon the point is we're back we've got our sentry drones here and we are ready to go we're going to poke these battleships as you can see the battleships were really the problem there once those extra battleships came in these missiles they were able to hit us at maximum range and just keep on doing the thing let's turn this off we don't need that and we'll also turn off these as they get closer to you you don't need to keep those going because remember if you take out the scripts it does tracking and optimal range but if not it's just optimal range once they're within range you're good you don't need to worry about it anymore we'll take out this assaulter next because that one's gonna be pretty easy i did want to hit these battleships first because they do a lot of damage for god's sake okay so let's only shoot this one more time so really when you're doing this you're going to be looking at a couple things you're obviously going to be looking at your tank you need to make sure that your tank is good to go. You need to make sure that uh, you're going to actually survive the room that you're in easy enough. You need to look at your drone health pool as well. You don't want to start spending money on, uh, oh, I lost another drone. Oh, I lost an another drone. Because your drones, and look how fast that was. Because the drones do not expend ammo, it's just your guns. Drones are actually an extremely cost-effective way to run missions like this because you don't have to spend as much ammo. Bulk of your DPS can come from your drones, which get infinite ammo. fan freaking fantastic. You need to keep an eye on how far things away are from you. You saw, like, I was a little bit stressed there at the very beginning because there was just a lot of stuff happening and finally you have to keep an eye on your cap and how your cap's doing so this conquistador is within 47 the antimatter's optimal range is 36 but the fall off is like 65 so if it's underneath the fall off i'll switch to that ammo because remember the closer to you the better damage the ammo does we're going to make sure we use that to this with at 46 so i'm going to use antimatter to speed up how that's going while this has been happening our mtu has just been sucking up all of our wrecks keeping everything nice and tight like putting it right where we need to go we're going to loot as much as we can before we come back with our salvage ship and then go from there this is now a job for for uranium rounds swap to that go take out these pith destroyers and keep it going you'll notice that we're not cap stable that was part of the reason why we had to leave the room and then come back that's fine i this is actually one of the hardest missions from a tanking standpoint that i've done in a, about a week normally i fly through these the rogue drone missions the garista's revenge i think this one's called the assault yeah this is the one where it's primarily explosive damage and i'm a little bit weak to explosive damage it's one of the reasons why my rigs are getting rid of some of that weakness so i believe we have the explosive damage rig point is this is a room cleared. Took a little bit of time. We had to take some extra time to go out and heal. No shame in that. Don't lose your ship to pride. <laughs> you know, This is an expensive ship. This is an expensive boat to fly. There's no reason that you should be doing that stuff. Ah, okay. So I see a combat probe on the scanner. There are some known gankers in this system. So I have to be aware of that, Chan. There's some people looking around. So that's basically the fit. Check your D-scan. Always a little bit scary there to see that. Check your D-scan and be sure that nobody's coming in on you. Make sure that you use your snipe drones to maximum effect. Balance your ammo, balance your omnidirectional tracking links. We didn't get to use the uh, micro jump drive this time just because of the nature of this mission. There's a lot of longer range stuff. But typically, most missions, except for basically this one, I have no problems with popping out and you'll take zero to no damage on a lot of these level fours. I'm glad that this mission showcased this to show you what you can do in like a bit of a dire situation where, hey, I'm taking a lot of damage. What do I do? Overload your heals, keep calm, pop the small ones, leave, heal, come back. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you press like and sub. Now wait, but before you go, we got a bunch of ETH videos about to come up that you can enjoy if you want to see how I made a billion isk in about, about a couple hours a week playing over the course of a month. Check that out. We got salvage videos, mining videos. We got a different uh, Dominic's fit. If you'd like to go check that out, go look at it and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.